I know, I know. Ugh, what was that? <coughs> I know, I should prepare better hair, but I am not in that right now. I'm with Simba, he's on my hand. He's some sort of albino, I don't know. What? Um, today, I mean, he just came out of shed, so. Mm -hmm. Like, he just came out of shed, but, like, I had to help him in shed because, like, his sheds are really bad, and I learned that the hard way because I got him, when I got him, he was in the middle of shed, like, he probably had, like, this much out. He had probably had this much out, which is good that he had his head out. But I had to help him with the rest of his body, and that was... i You can't pick it off. Never, ever, ever, ever pick the shed off. That hurts them, and it's not nice. To help them on their own, give them a chance to actually do it on their own before you help them. Um... Like, give them a chance to actually do it on their own before you, uh, help them with their shed. Um, so, a great way to help, like, help them, like, not actually helping them, but, you know, let them do it on their own if they can, is, um, human hides. Uh, basically get a closed-in enclosure. I will show you which will not do as a human hide. In this hand, I have this log hide. This will not work as a humid hide. It needs to be closed in on all areas except an entry. And this doesn't have a bottom, which it needs. So, never use anything like this log as a humid hide. That is obviously still used as a hide, but don't use it as a humid hide. They have all fancy ones like cave and exoterra and zoom in and all that, but. If you don't want to go fancy or you don't want to spend too much money, I'm going to show you, you the best way to do it is with a plastic container. A plastic container. Oh my god, my hand. Yeah, a plastic container. And basically, you don't even need to use cocoa fiber or sphagnum moss or anything fancy. You really don't. All you need to do is just put damp paper towel in the humid hide while they're shedding and he just came out of shed so I might put it in there but you know it's like really I don't think he needs it but this is you could just cut a door in it and make sure there's no sharp edges but yeah and then you're good okay so if your snake if that doesn't help and he still has like stuck shed, you could use soaks. Um, soaking, you do once they get into shed, like you could just put them in the water, let them soak, you know, like pour in the water, let them in there, soak. Simba, my corn snake, personally hates water, so I don't like to soak him as he absolutely hates water. He doesn't like water, so, um, yeah, so I don't soak him, but I have another technique. So, I'm going to show you what you do. You're going to get a paper towel, I'm going to dampen it with water. Mine's not very, mine's not damp, so I'm going to go damp it. Use warm water when you're dampening, don't use too hot, don't use too cold, and, yeah, as you can see, it's all shriveled. And he might have a little stuck shed on him, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't. What you're going to do is make sure it's, like, big enough to go wrap around their body. So you have to spread it out and just hold their body. Like, let them sit there, but you're just going to slightly go like this on it and wait until any shed sticks to the paper towel. So it was like, why? I don't have shed on me, so stop, please. But, yeah, that's what you do to help them. And... Do it for a little while, and um, if I'd say around like 15 ish minutes at the most, um, to try and stay low. And if they're still shed, put them back in the cage, let them heat up, and 
let them reboot for about an hour-ish, you know, 30 minutes hour, probably an hour is the best, 30, 45 minutes at the least, um, and then you could take them out and redo it. So that's how you help your coin snake shed, and I will probably be uploading a feeding video with Simba tomorrow. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.